Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Waste or Worth It Wednesday. Um, I know that I usually spread this series um, once every other week, but I was just way too excited to talk about these new products that I saw. I even shared a picture on Instagram and tons of you wanted to see videos, so I figured I wouldn't wait any longer. <clears throat> well, and I would just share with you guys you know, the products that I'm actually talking about. So today I'm going to be talking about these new babies right here. These are the Revlon Mattes, what's the Ultra HD Mattes lip color. And these are the three that I got. First of all, I think the packaging is super, super cute. It's very like sleek, I kind of like this it's kind of like a glass looking thing. I don't know exactly what it is, if it is glass or what it is, but it's really cute and I was just, you know, I was drawn in by the packaging. Another thing that really caught my attention was Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. You guys know that every brand is coming out with new um, liquid lipsticks, so when I saw these, I immediately thought, oh, another liquid lipstick that is drugstore. And I believe from the store that I went to, they only had a total of like six products. If I'm wrong, um, you know, I will correct myself in the description bar. But I picked up three out of the ones that I saw. So I believe I paid $9.40 for each of these, which was a total of like $30, which I thought was pricey but then again Revlon is more on the higher end for drugstore. I couldn't see the name of these at first which I was like what the heck you know like you need to put names on your products but they actually do have them on the back here. They say it right here which is not very helpful because this thing can peel off like if it's kind of annoying. You peel it off and then you won't have the name of the lipstick anymore. The first one that I got, it's this one right here. It's a really pretty nude color and this is called Seduction. Now when you open these, if I can get it right, when you open these, you get this really nice doe foot, doe foot applicator. And I like it because it's flat on both sides, which is really convenient when you apply the lipstick because once you dip it in, you get the product on both sides and then it's just really easy to apply them to your lips. Now one thing that I wanted to mention is the scent. Now this is something that you're either going to love or hate because it has a very strong scent but it's not unpleasant. It's very, it's very fruity and it's I can't, I really can't describe the smell, but know that it's, it's a very, very fruity smell. I personally don't care for scents because once you apply it, you can smell it. And then as, you know, you wear them throughout the day, then you really can't tell much. I'm going to be giving you hand swatches as well as lip swatches on how they apply. And I am going to be showing you directly how they apply on the lips just so you can see them. So this is the first hand swatch, and again, this is in the color Seduction. The second color that I picked up, and this one was probably the one that I really wanted most out of all because it's just a really nice berry color, and it's perfect for the fall. This one is called Addiction. So this is Seduction right here, and as you can see, really pretty mauve berry color. Perfect for the fall. And then the last one that I got is this really pretty true red with those nice blue undertones. And this one's called Amour. So this is Amour. And it might look a little more like a cherry red. Or, yeah, but it's, it's a really nice bright red. But it's not too intense. Does that make sense? Now, for the actual product itself, is it worth it or is it a total waste of your money? Let me tell you guys, first of all, that I was disappointed because when I saw these, the first thing that came to my mind was liquid lipsticks. And like I said, everybody right now 
ones, liquid lipsticks, every brand is coming out with them. So that's what I really thought was going to be when I got these. Now the formula is really nice. It's a very velvety, creamy um, formula. It has a really nice texture to it. When you apply it on the lips, it almost feels really hydrating. They are matte, but they do not dry to a complete matte. I would say that these dry to more of a semi matte and not even then because they do stay a tad bit glossy on the lips. They take forever to dry on the lips and unfortunately they do transfer so these are not going to be like your typical um, liquid lipsticks like ColourPop. You guys know that I love those and these just they're not like that whatsoever. In my personal opinion, I didn't love them because, again, I was just really expecting for them to be literally a liquid lipstick, and that's not what it is. Now, the colors are very pretty, and they don't have a whole bunch, at least not from what I saw at my CVS store. These are the ones that caught my attention the most. The other ones were more of a pink, a magenta pink, and those are just colors that I usually do not use again they were pretty pricey so another reason why i only wanted to get three especially if i wasn't sure i was going to love them i do always hold on to my receipts because i just don't think it's necessary for you to you know buy something and then other and then later if you're not going to use it then it's just going to be sitting there so I did hold on to my receipt and I'm glad that I did because I think these might be going back to the store. I really feel like it's personal preference with these lipsticks. If you are a person that enjoys, um, you know, really creamy lipsticks that's, you know, are going to transfer or if you don't mind the transferring, uh, I should say that, if you don't mind that, then I do think you're going to like these. If you're not too... Um, picky or if you don't mind the smell on these I think you're also going to like them so I definitely wasn't you know I was expecting more from these and I just I wasn't wowed with these now the colors on these can be a little bit opaque I noticed that when I apply a first layer and then if I want to go in with a second layer I kind of need to let them dry for a little bit in order for me to get them a little bit more opaque there's really not much more that I want much more there's really not much to say about these besides for me personally I just I I don't like them I don't think they're the best lipsticks ever and they're definitely not liquid lipsticks for me I would say that these are just they're not worth it um, for a person that is looking for a drugstore liquid lipstick that is going to have a lot of color payoff you're just not going to like these but again it just really depends on your on your personal choice what kind of lipsticks do you like and how how you like them, the texture and the durability. But if you guys do decide to pick these up and you end up loving them, please share with me in the comment section because everybody's opinions is different. So definitely give them a try if you are willing to just hold on to your receipt because you don't want to be stuck with something that is just going to sit there if you don't end up liking it. So I believe that is everything for today's Waste or Worth It Wednesday video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, let me know what your thoughts are on these babies right here. So if you guys want to see the swatches on my lips using these Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors then just keep on watching.